In our supply chains, we have been moving goods from A to B already for ages. Every product owner or logistics service provider does this himself with his own means of transport. In some cases, we have started collaborations to avoid half-empty loads during transport. But still, the cooperation and collaboration is not optimal. For example, we struggle more and more with deliveries in the city centers. Due to more strict emission policies, the cities are closing their city centers for traditional delivery trucks and also implementing policies to reduce congestion, thus forcing transport companies to consolidate cargo before entering the city. Next to that, there is a shortage of lorry drivers, and those few drivers lose too much time with inefficient driving in the congested city centers. For example, John, the owner of our wine shop, gets several deliveries per day from different transport companies. The same applies to the neighboring shops in the street. In the morning, the streets are jammed with different vans and trucks. Delivery is getting more and more costly due to the inefficiency and congestion. We must make our urban distribution more efficient and environmentally friendly. Different market initiatives are directed at bundling flows of goods and sharing assets in the city delivery. So, the new solution is that John, the wine merchant, and his neighbors in the shopping streets of the city do receive their deliveries daily through this environmentally friendly and efficient solution. The deliveries for the different streets are assembled in a local hub or distribution center and collaboratively delivered with standardized routings and, for example, electric vents. Packaging material and returns for e-commerce are delivered back to the hub. The goods come from a local or regional hub just outside the city that is well connected by road, rail and, if possible, waterway. Most of the different logistic flows for the city are assembled and bundled here. The hub is open 24-7 and goods are delivered in standardized loading units in order to be able to combine the units for their delivery routes. The hub is highly automated, freight data is securely shared and standardized with the different stakeholders through open communication platforms, while the commercial data remains in the hands of the shippers. The hub has the possibility to customize the products at the last moment. The hub is a shared warehouse and operated by a service provider as the linking point between the different networks of logistic service providers who use this hub to handle the last mile delivery efficiently and collaboratively. There can be different shared hubs in a region, each specialized in a category of goods and routings. This will be the way to reduce city traffic and therefore freight emissions to nearly zero. And to keep the supply chain efficient and agile, Service levels and replenishment will be much better in quality. What works on a local level can be also an example for the regional, national or even European and global level. The same principles which apply to the city delivery can also be applied here, bundling flows of goods and sharing assets. Physical Internet uses the logistics infrastructure as we know it today, only in a much more optimized and shared way. Collaboration, sharing assets, information and good governance are key to achieve this far-reaching optimization and efficiency. Over the last years, a lot of initiatives have been implemented and the idea of a physical internet has become more and more visible. To reach physical internet in practice, the European Alliance for Logistics Innovation, or ALICE, is developing the roadmap for PI with the support of industry and research. Questions we have to answer are What is the system design or system functionality? How does it develop towards a natural evolution? What is the access and adoption? How do we settle the governance of the PI system? What kind of network services will be developed? And what is the role of the nodes? And how do they evolve? It will still take several years before we reach a really working European physical internet but we are on the right path to reach this level of efficiency and sustainability in logistics.